said that I would like to be dead in the shark's mouth. And love is stripped and frayed, and duty is delayed until next life. I started skishing because uh, it just called to me. I just loved the idea of being out in the ocean in the middle of the night with no one around. Skishing is swim fishing. It entails swimming out 300 yards into that water, floating in a wetsuit and wearing flippers and all this associated paraphernalia and uh, catching big fish. I like the extremity stuff. I like the really, really nasty weather. I like driving through this shitty road and getting my fillings knocked out, you know, at night in the dark with rain and deer running in front of you and everybody else is running home when it gets shitty out and I'm on my way out. I like that. That I enjoy. Like, you go to work, you take care of your family, you work on your house, but then in the middle of the night, you can grab a fishing pole and some flippers, and you can go out to Montauk and swim out however far you swim out in the pitch blackness and catch fish. Like, it's, it's like a double life in a sense, but it's, it's a totally normal way of life for us, for my husband. Some idiot's gonna drown himself someday. Probably. I'm hoping it's Frank. That might be you. I might be drowning you. <laughs> I think there's danger in anything that you do. Um, I think you're really lucky in life if you can find something that grabs a hold of you like that and um, that you love. Yes, he could be eaten by a shark. Yes, he could be run over by a boat, you know. Those things can happen, but um, he knows he has a family that loves him and he wants to come home too. So I trust him. I don't know. I hope uh, I hope that it feeds his soul for the rest of his life and it uh, it makes him happy. Having two children and and being the sole provider for a family of four, it'll keep you awake at night, you know? But uh, skishing is my escape from that. It's like I get to go out and float around and, and all of the pressures of life disappear. I just focus on that moment and it's, it's so liberating and so, so, so free.